In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways to fix the NTOS kernel.exe issue from occurring on your Windows PC. The first thing we need to do is head on down to the search bar and type in check for updates. As you can see here, I've had an update that has failed, so ensure that all of your updates have been downloaded and installed. Once you've done that, head on down to the search bar again and type in CMD and then right click on the command prompt and click run as administrator. The first thing we need to do is type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. Depending on how good or bad your PC is, this may take a little while to do, but just wait until it's 100% complete. The verification is now 100% complete. And as you can see here, it says Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. However, as we are in the command prompt, we're gonna go and do a few more scans just to 100% ensure that we have fixed the issue. So next we need to type in DIS space forward slash restore health, then press enter. Similar with the first step, just allow it to do its thing and wait for it to be completed. Next up, type in chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r and then press enter. Now it's very likely you, you will get this message saying, cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? So what you need to do is type in y and then press enter. Now, this volume will be checked the next time you restart your system. So all you need to do now is restart your PC like normal, and you'll be given a message that will count down until the check starts to happen. Don't press any keys whatsoever unless you want to skip it for whatever reason. Once that check has finally been done, your blue screen of death problem should be a thing of the past. Now, if none of this has worked, it probably means that your CPU is shot and you need to get a CPU. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.